Okay. My section. My section right here. Barbary. You know, like, for real, for real. Beer tips from a barber. Y'all probably want to know what is this right here. You see this right here? I'm going to move it on over here a little bit. The t shirt but see that's backward but if he was on the other side of his face you can use this i'm gonna put it on my face so you can see it you see that you see that? You, 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 you see that right i can put that curve this curve right here and this is my perfect lineup tool you can put that on your face you can use a magic the 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 the, the barber pen to line it up and you can get a razor and come down right here and that will style your beard perfectly give you the perfect the perfect curve on your on, on the top of your face right there this right here will give you the perfect corners even on your hair up here you know on the sides on the sides right here this is the tool for how to cut and style your beard. There are lots of ways to play with your beard shape, but most universal flattering technique requires leaving a little hair longer around the chin and shorter on the sides of your face. Boom. That's what this guy did. That's what this guy did. That's what this guy did. Now let's talk about these three guys right here and why their beards are pretty cool okay boom this guy right here as you can see he has a patch that doesn't grow in right there is he tripping yeah he probably is but you mess with a barber like myself or you can do it at yourself you can get enhancements enhancements is die they put a dye on your hair that might last a few days or it could last it can come off instantly whenever however you want to do it but they have different brands and stuff uh so they have dude dude can use use an airbrush and he can airbrush the 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 the, the uh dye on there or he can use fibers and stuff like that but that will that that will leave you with a full beard and you're not tripping about a thin spot or something that you have you know this guy right here he gets the haircut where you know he trims the beard on on the sides and like using the the, the chin hair to be longer and work his way up that's a nice style of beard i i even like how he got the line right here it's not too too dark but at the same time he didn't bring it all the way up so don't let your barber bring your 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 line all the way up here or don't let him bring line your baseline right here and another thing this right here guys with me my biggest mistake of growing beards is this and I'm a barber and I, 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 I should have knew better when I started but you want to keep when growing a beer you want to keep it as far as down as possible because these are your problem areas these under under your neck and your chin area has more your hair should be more coarse and most of the time it's more coarse under your chin and when it's coarse like that under your chin it has a tendency to roll up and when it rolls up you know especially after you cut it with a sharp razor or something you know your hair is sharp and it curls right back and it goes right back into your skin and that is what's causing those ingrown hairs so if you're growing a beard my the best way to deal with ingrown hairs is letting it washing and letting it grow out you wash your beard and then you let it grow out you know so when you're growing a beard i know how 
sometimes your barber, they be like, like, they like to get crispy lines and they like to make you look good and everything like that. But hold off, go through the process, let this grow down here because if when this grows, it's gonna make your beard look a hell of a lot longer. It's gonna make it look a lot longer, but if you keep showing, cutting it up here, your hair can never get out of that coarse stage, you know? So your hair grows through stages. It's, so when it's coarse up under there and it's shorter right there and you're trying to comb it, it's still gonna be breaking off because you, you want this, you want it all to grow evenly. So, and this guy right here, I can tell he doesn't get it trimmed inside of here under his chin, under his lip and his chin, he lets it grow in full. And nothing is wrong with that. I like that. Like I'm more like this guy up here. I was trying to clean mine out and stuff like that, but I'm moving toward growing it all in in, in there. So My, my barber uh, tips and stuff like that to do is get you a pair of um, mustache and beard scissors to get inside your nose to make sure you got some nose hair because boogers will get caught on the nose hair and you don't want to be out here with a with, with some boogers hanging off the top of your beard when you think you looking fresh okay and I talked about this define your neck line quit cutting your hair on your chin line you will get bumps on your chin line you will get bumps under there let all that grow that's gonna be your length that's what's gonna make your beard look good this over here is cool but having that that will make your beard look the coolest you know you know and they say know when to trim your cheeks you know Another thing, man, don't be letting your barbers try to keep it as high as possible. Don't let them take it all the way down trying to get the crispy line, you know? Because all that grow back, and when they grow back, they can give you ingrowns, they can give you, you know? So, as long as you keeping your face clean, you're going to be all right, though, you know? And listen what I'm saying, like, you could do it at your house, you know? But if you make a mistake, don't be stripping, though. Don't be like, oh, I can fix it if you already messed it up. If you messed it up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and you're not really a professional, just just go down into the barbershop. I don't think he's going to charge you a whole haircut just to, you know, fix your beard or whatever. But I I, I, I recommend sticking with, with a barber and, 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 and grow on a beard grooming journey with him. And tell them what you want. Another another tip is eventually after a few months, we're gonna get uh, some split ends and, and dry ends and, and things of that nature. And the most important thing you have to do when that happens is you have to trim it. I'm gonna recommend trimming your beard like two to three months take maybe like a half of the inch or not even just a half an inch on it because you know you're you're using combs and and brushes and stuff like that on your your hair and you want to keep them in the best condition your hair in the best condition as possible and stuff so so make sure you that you guys i'm gonna add that on here right now um trim gear Okay, we're not going to trim our beard when it's wet and we're not going to cut up under the chin and we're going to we're not going to use dirty clippers or razors. You heard me? We're going we, we to stay sanitized and clean. Tools needed. 
to cut your beard. We're gonna cut our beard, my beard today. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. I'm gonna use the purple liner tool, my beard shaper. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that with a barber pencil. We're gonna use some of this got to be glue. I got my Babylus right here, my Babylus Pros right here. I got my, my, my sauce razor right here. I got a brush. I got some cool care. Cool care is to disinfect um, my clipper. And then I, and, and I got these blades. You use a fresh blade every time you cut your hair. You never want to reuse a blade. Always get you a fresh new one. Get you a pack of, two pack of razors after you run out of your razors, too. So get you a pack, get a half like this. And you know, got your wood comb. And before you do this, you want to wash your face. I already washed my face, got my face washed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this barber pencil right here. It comes in this pack right here. I got the white. And make sure when you get ready to cut your hair in the bathroom, put a towel over the sink. You don't want to get all the loose hairs and wild hair, extra hair stuck on the floor. You don't want to do that. But here we go right here. I sharpen it up, about like that. That's how we get that perfect line up too. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna draw this line right here on my face to make sure I line it up all the way perfect. So I'm going to match one side like I did on the other side, trace it up, line it up, try to get it perfectly lined up so it'll look good, get it evened out. So you want to see my sofa a little bit? Okay. So we basically we basically our face outline with the barber pencil, you know. So after I do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of it. Got to be blue and just spray it over my. Lightly spray it too. Lightly spray it. Don't 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 don't, don't try to cake it up. Just like, 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 lightly spray it. Lightly spray it on your face. After you do that, you want it to dry, but you want to brush it, brush it down, brush your hair down. Just lays your hair down so. It can get a crispy line. So, you might be wondering why are you doing that? I'm gonna use my Babilis. I already cleaned them off. I use some cool care. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this white line. All uh, the hair that I have right there. I'm gonna take everything to that line. Cut everything to that line. So 
second. Oh, that's straight. Crisp. Go over it again for you. Blow your cheek out and get your hair up there. So now we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Take everything down to that line. You see that hair right there? See how that easy that was? Now, I really don't need a beer shaper in here, but if you want me to, I'll do that too. Right. I'ma just go in, line that in up in there to my desired pattern, and then I'ma shape that out. Sometimes you don't even need the beer shaper. You can do it with your hand, freestyle it. Grab my clippers, come back in. Then I go back in with the trimmers and chisel all that back in. Make sure I get all the little small hairs and make sure I just get everything evened up so it'll look good and precision. Line up over the lips so it'll look all good and crispy. Let's brush this down and see what, what it did. I'm brushing to put the line into place and take some of that white stuff off, see what the line... Okay, a lot of y'all been asking how do you use your, uh, your razor? How do you put your razor together? So I'm gonna be showing y'all how to put the razor and the razor blade. First, you grab the razor, you see it? Use your thumb, press in, try to fold it. Once you fold it, you're gonna hear it snap. Make sure you do it in the paper, these razors are sharp. So now that you, you have your razor cracked, popped in half, you open it. And then you got two halves. One, one half, you keep it here. Keep the other one in there. You got two halves. Now, you can set it right there. Get your razor up out of here. Okay. See? You want to turn it upside down. And then you want to take this top, pull the top off, pull the top back. These split in half. Right? You want to take your blade, turn it back around. There's the ridges and grooves right there that fit right there on that ball. Once you set it right there, you pull it back, you click it. Now you're even, your razor's even, close it, and ready to go. Sometimes if it don't be even, you just go back in there. Make sure it's on there good. Pull it back off. Try it again. Put it on there. Put in the grooves and the big grooves. Slide it back on there. Boom. Perfect. There you go. Now, when you're holding the riser, this right here is a good place you can hold for your pinky. Right here on this hook. You want to grab it right there. Put pressure with your index finger on the top and go down when you cut. Basically, if let's say this is my hand. That's how you do it. How do you use the razor? 
I look like. We're gonna put our razor together. Boom, take it down. You see these dots? And open your razor. You wanna put that razor and set it on these on, on, on these dots. Like this, let me turn it around so you guys can see. Make sure that you have the razor sitting flush on those. Okay. We want to stretch the skin and get real. Be careful using the razor. The blaze is sharp. You really don't need um, gel. Some people use shower gel, but I'm going to just keep it G with the with dry. Put a skin. And go through, uh, Doing the dry, I can hear, the, hear it get crispy. I can, most people use the dry too. I'm making sure I stretch my skin, get a, all the way down to the line, get all the little little bitty hairs and stuff. The little hairs, getting the little hairs is key to making it look crispy. So go over it a few times, as many times as you would like, you know, just to get it as crispy as possible. The more you go over it, the crispier it's gonna be. But don't be excessive, you know. Be smart about it, you know. But make sure you're stretching your skin and you're cleaning up all the little hairs that, you know, feel like you can't see. That's what the razor is for. The razor is to get all those little small hairs and make your line crispy. It's looking good so far. And I'm after this, I'm gonna get the clippers and get on in there real good, chisel it all back in good. I'm gonna trim that, get all over the line again. Go over my lip, make sure the hair over my lip is not hanging down too far. Chisel that in real good. I just can't get my beard right without getting everything else. So I'm about to get deep up into this haircut. And, you know, I'm going to trim the back of my, uh, and under my neck, on the sides, over by your ear and under your neck, you know. Don't go too far up. You want to keep all that. That's what makes your beard look healthy and full. I'm just going to chisel everything back up, line everything back up, brush my hair down, see where it look like, you know. Chisel everything back in, do everything over again. Hit it with the razor one more time to chisel it all the way in. Hit it with the lineup, with the clippers. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to get my line hitting the corners right. What you do on one side, do right on the other side to make it come out even. Then I'll put some alcohol on it, you know. Pick it out with my wood pick. You know, it's looking all right. Now I'm about to put the finishing touches on it. That's how you get your beard right. Quick with the, with the perfect lineup too. With the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Beard shaping too. Shake that beard out real good, real quick. Sharpen it up with that razor, you know what I'm saying? And we in the game. Now I'm gonna put some of this original beard balm on it to give it that gloss and shine and make it look soft and everything, everything gonna look good. Yeah, pick it out, use a wood comb, use a metal comb too. Now I'm ready to hit my hair with the topics, get my line, fill my line in. First I'm gonna spread with the got to be glue. Then I'm gonna get my beard shaping tool and use the topics to spray over my thin spot right in the front thin spots. And after that, I'm gonna come with the clippers, tap that in, chisel it in real good. It's looking real, real good so far. And if it's thin, uh, just go back over it one more time, spray it down again to hold it, brush the sides around good, come back in, chisel it in again, you know? You wanna spray this, hold the spray on top of it again to hold the fibers down. And then just keep going over it a little bit to get it as crispy and straight as possible. So that's how you have it. Now I'm about to go in here and take the clippers and taper me up a little bit. Look good, you know? Let me go ahead and show y'all my fading skills real quick. All of this fading, that's barber work, you know? That's gonna be in another video, but basically what I'm doing, I'm trimming my lip down you know, chiseling my line up again good, you know, just doing everything I can. I put a little bit of that uh, that magic marker on there, that, that barber pencil, so I can get a crispier line, you know, trace it up real cool. And it's looking real good. 